Well, today on Lawyer to Lawyer, we're going to take a look at the opioid epidemic, the impact litigation against big pharma, including the Commonwealth versus Purdue Pharma case, what's being done to assist victims of opioid addiction and their families, and how those that are impacted can get up legally and personally. And to do that, we've got a great lineup of guests today. Here to discuss today's topic is Jonathan Novak. He's an attorney from the Fears Nachawati firm, where he used his background as a former U.S. attorney at the Department of Justice and the Drug Enforcement Administration as a litigator to advise multiple clients in multiple areas, including opioid and mass tort litigation. Welcome to the show, Jonathan. Thank you for having me. Jonathan, how does this problem found its way into the courts? How is it being approached from uh, the judiciary standpoint? Well, unfortunately, um, attempts to use the existing regulatory laws began falling short as DEA enforcement actions have dropped off. Um, Right now, we're seeing a massive national effort to hold the manufacturers, distributors, and now the pharmacy retailers uh, responsible for violations of the law. The civil lawsuits are seeking damages under a similar theory to the tobacco litigation, which is to say primarily public nuisance. Um, However, interestingly, they are also bringing in claims of civil conspiracy and RICO claims, which are the racketeering claims often used against mafia. Um, These cases have been brought in the federal courts as part of a multi-district litigation that is in Ohio right now um, and being run by one judge and thousands of lawyers across the country are participating in the work that's going on in this litigation. 